name is Greg Lopiccolo. Uh, I teach at Ephrata High School in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. EFEW is important to not only my students, but the students across the state is they get an opportunity to really learn about themselves, uh, learn about what it's like to go to college and also uh, what it's like to um, meet people for the first time, to really put themselves out there and to get a new experience. And when you're a high school student, you don't get many opportunities like that and PFEW provides that. I support PFEW here at Ephrata because one of the low cost, we have a lot of students who don't have the financial means to spend thousands of dollars at a, at a week long summer camp. But PFEW is low cost and especially we have special uh, business people within our community that really support PFEW and make it financially possible for our students to spend a week at a college and get an entrepreneurship business experience that they could have never really afforded without the significant low cost of PFEW. Also, I think PFEW encourages things like entrepreneurship, um, uh, grit, integrity, uh, uh, creativity, and independence that I don't know of any other program in Pennsylvania that, that encourages so many of those awesome things that I'm passionate about. PFEW provides um, an opportunity for students to grow individually by really fostering independence. So they leave their hometown, wherever they're from, they go to this place they've never been to before, uh, they meet new people they've never met before, they're teenagers, they've never probably experienced anything like this before, they're living away from their parents. It doesn't matter what field you go into, whether it's, you know, you go to military, you go to college, you go to two-year school, you go to work. I mean, you're going to be put in those situations later on in life. So PFEW really encourages students to kind of just expand their horizons a bit and, and try new things and meet new people they never met before. And it's a part of life. It's part of growing up. And they get to do it in high school as opposed to most kids. They really have to deal with that usually after high school. Also, I mean, for the kids who go to college, they're staying at a college campus. They're living in a dorm room. And it'd be very similar to if they do go to college, having a random roommate they've never met before, probably living in a dorm room, having some sort of assignment that they have to work on and they have to learn how to time management to get that done in time. And PFEW provides all those things. A bunch of different reasons to go to PF PFEW. I don't know why you wouldn't want to go. I wish I went when I was in high school. I didn't, I didn't even know about it, so. The legendary Ken Schneider comes every year to my high school and he's Ken's awesome. I know him pretty well now because he's been coming to my school for probably 10 years coming to my classroom. And uh, and he is awesome at presenting and he set, tells the same jokes every single year and I still laugh every single year. Um, he's super passionate about PFEW and that passion is contagious. And I'm just so impressed with Ken that all these years later, he could, he could retire. He doesn't need to be doing, he doesn't need to be presenting or traveling. He doesn't need the money, but he does it anyway because he's passionate about PFEW. And he's passionate about high school kids, and uh, he, he, Ken really is the key to why I continue to do it every year. Um, and of course, I promote it PFEW through uh, posters that you guys send out. I put them up my walls, and some kids will ask me, "Hey, Mr. Piccolo, what's that up on your wall?" And I can get to talk about it. Um, I encourage kids after Ken leaves to make sure you fill out the applications and I bring it up almost every day um, in all my classes. I also encourage other teachers to come out and let their kids come down for the period that Ken's talking, to come down here at PFEW. Because um, I'm an elected business teacher, so I don't hit, I'm just one teacher, so I don't hit all the kids in our school. So I try to hit as many kids by getting encouraging other teachers uh, to send their kids down. And I'm gonna continue to do that again, you know, in future years and I also the other thing is I connect kids with other kids who went through PFEW if, I, if a student's a sophomore and they did as their sophomore year that means they're in my room building for another two years where they can encourage PFEW uh, the students absolutely love the time they, they spend at PFEW they always say the same thing they want to go back and I say no you can't go back but you can volunteer um, they always talk about how they, they meet so many cool kids and by the end of the week, they're best friends with all these kids. They make connections on social media. I've had students tell me that they've met, they've met their groups in months later. At, they meet in some random spot in Pennsylvania and they all drive to a certain location. They all still keep in contact. Um, you know, the, I hear about the love stories, the love interest and the heartbreaks and the breakups at the end of the week. Those are always entertaining. Um, as Ken says, it's 
uh, PFW is P Harmony. A lot of you guys call it P Harmony. Uh, so that's always funny stories, um, which is part of life, part of growing up. You know, they're at that age. They're, you know, feedback is always 100% positive, and that's another reason why I always tell the students this. I always say, guys, I've never sent a student to PFEW and they come back and say, oh, it was terrible. Why'd you send me there? I wish I didn't go. Never has happened in the 10 years. I've been doing this 10 years and I've never had a kid say they hated it. They had a bad time. It was terrible. I've never heard a negative thing. It's always positive. So kids, go to PFEW if you're watching this. Look, students, when you have uh, this opportunity, um, I strongly encourage you to, to fight your fears when you're hearing this presentation in your classroom or whether it's virtually this year, fight against your fears of, of not doing it. You know it sounds interesting. Take that step, fill out the form and do it because you're, you're gonna be thankful the rest of your life that you did it because it's gonna be something you're gonna remember for the rest of your life.